A Ukrainian unit fires a French-made howitzer toward the Russian lines in the eastern Donetsk region as Ukraine continues to try to repel Russia's invasion. Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba spoke remotely Tuesday to the U.S. Organized Democracy Summit, saying the Ukrainian people want peace more than anyone, but peace at any cost is an illusion. The Ukrainian people will accept peace only if it guarantees the cessation of Russian aggression in full, the complete withdrawal of Russian troops from Ukrainian territory, and the restoration of our state's territorial integrity within internationally recognized borders. Secretary of State Antony Blinken opened a panel discussion of the Democracy Summit Tuesday, saying nothing illustrates the threat to democracies from dictatorships better than Russia's unprovoked invasion of Ukraine. Blinken embraced Ukraine's peace proposal and rejected others, such as China's, without naming names. I think we all have to be very much aware and beware of um, what may seem to be well-intentioned uh, efforts, for example, to call for, uh, call for ceasefires, which would potentially have the effect of freezing in place the conflict, allowing Russia to consolidate the gains uh, that it's made, and simply use the time to rest and uh, refit and then reattack. One expert told VOA that President Joe Biden's second democracy summit faces several challenges including tensions with close U.S. allies such as Israel. But he said winning support for Ukraine is a major focus of the summit. You have dramatic events in Israel that go to the core of what uh, Israel is. Uh, as a democracy, you have backsliding uh, among various European countries. It's kind of an old story. Uh, but I think the core problem for President Biden is that you have a lot of democracies, uh, South Africa, Brazil, and India, for example, uh, that are not especially supportive of the U.S. position uh, on the war in Ukraine. Kimmage told VOA that despite the challenges, the achievements on the battlefield under the leadership of Ukraine's democratically elected president, Volodymyr Zelensky, against what is on paper a superior Russian military, is an inspiration and could be a galvanizing force for democracy around the world. Cindy Sane, VOA News.